Yeah, so, I mean, I've seen horses behind, severely behind the bit. They can just go and do what exactly what they like because you've essentially got no bit there. But none of this is his fault. He's a charming little horse and I really enjoy bringing him on to a better place. And uh, his anxiety is, is halved from what it was yesterday. And I am sort of being able to let out the reins without him trotting all the way home. So what that says to me is um, at least he's, he's thinking his safety isn't compromised to the point where he has to try and trot home for every minute. I have got my leg on, which I couldn't do yesterday, because he'd just trot away, because um, he thinks legs mean faster. Um, he's no idea they mean anything else. So, you know, we've made progress in three rides. Well, G Gabs gave him the first ride to assess him, and he assessed him really accurately for me, so I kind of knew what I was going to ride. Um, I was going to be riding before I rode him for the first time yesterday. Oh, I'm going to have another little trot. No problems getting him to trot now, so we're going home, but what I want to do is just, I want him to settle that trot. And it, although he doesn't seem to be listening, he actually is listening because he's listening to me balancing him with my body. I'm keeping his shoulders straight with my body and I'm balancing it and he's actually come back to walk himself. Well, that is beyond amazing. But like he's, he looks like he's been in a Turkish bath. He really does. It'd be interesting to see how long this terrible sweat keeps up. We haven't had one that goes behind the bridle for a long while. So it's always the first, isn't there? I'm trying to think who else we had. Oh, we've had loads, but I'm trying to think Think of a name. I can't recall, but my memory isn't particularly useful at the moment. Really bad case of behind the bridle. Really. Poor boy, it must be so uncomfortable. Boy. that you know the hands are not restrictive in a sense he won't feel the need to sort of make funny noises through his mouth and you know try and get rid of that bit in his mouth and I know there'll be some comments like well why don't you go bitless but the point is before you can go bitless either way the horse has to be softened to its responses um, so it's not really the fault of the bit. I said this before. In the right hands, or not even in the right hands, but in sympathetic hands, the bit is not an instrument of torture. A bit isn't cruel. Um, unfortunately, it has the potential to be most cruel on the sensitive bars and tongue of the horse's mouth and by pulling on the reins you can leverage a huge amount of pressure per square inch and so in that sense you know um, it can be quite a painful experience for the horse but then so can bitless bridles you know they can anywhere where you exert extreme, extreme pressure in a small space or a small area you know is uncomfortable so far better to get the horse so that it hardly needs um, it hardly needs the pressure of the fingers only needs the pressure of the fingers to make a response and uh, our horse is uh, you know well known for being very very good through the mouth whether they stay like that is the responsibility of where they go but they have had that help to understand that you know the hands mean 
you know, the hands will guide a support. They're, they're, they're not there to restrict, to punish or inflict pain. But unfortunately, this fellow, he doesn't realise that because he he has been restricted and the, bright, the bit has clearly caused him pain, although there's no visible sign of injury. But the fact that he goes so badly behind the bridle all the time, every few steps, crunch, 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 um, really tells its own story. You know, I don't need to know the history of this horse to know that um, green as he is, somebody has been uh, pulling away on him and he's found his own release from the pressure by going behind the bits, as simple as that. Uh, he desperately wants to go over to the left and I'm, I'm not really using any hand. I mean, keeping this left leg squeezed into his sides. There we are. Now, now you see, you can stretch. You see, he needs to learn to stretch. There, like that. So you don't need to do all this behind the bridle because you can go, your head can go straight down. Forward and down, this is where we need your head. Forward and down. Well, I've had a much better ride than yesterday. He would like to trot up here, but because I've got my left leg jammed on his side, he's thinking actually he can't trot up here. There, good boy. He can't physically trot up here with my left leg jammed on his side. It's interesting, isn't it? Because his muscles have been developed in an adverse way. Right, there, good boy. Now you've got all your head. I'm not on your head at all. You can stretch for all you like. He says, oh, it's a new feeling for me. But, it, but you've still got to keep to the right. Even though you're stretching, there he goes behind the bridle again. Even though you're stretching, you can't just wander over to the left. So I'm not I don't want to bend left yet, that's not fair to ask him, but he just needs to start straightening his pelvis through his shoulders. I mean, I don't know if his back's out, I'll have a look a little bit at some point, but he needs to straighten, I mean, he feels pretty good, if one-sided, but um, at this point I just really want him to not lean on this left hand part of himself so in other words he's carrying he's carrying his body and me equally across all four legs which is he's not able to do at the moment he's not able to do he he, he wants to lean on the left hand side of himself and lighten the right hand side of himself so most of the work most of his weight is being carried on the left hand side of himself and that's why he left his own devices, he'll drift to the left because that's like carrying, carrying a greater percentage of his body weight than, than on the rest of him. Well, he hasn't neighed coming back and yesterday he neighed a couple of times, so that's all good too. 